Welcome. Uh, we are coming to you live here from the Butler Sports Park. Uh, my name is Jackie, also known as Espions, and on the desk with me tonight... I am Brady Stinson, also known as Turtle, and I am so happy to be here tonight. I'm glad you're here to join me. Tonight we've got a very special match for you. We have the Butler Esports Bulldogs, and they are facing in a nice Star League uh, Valorant match against the San Antonio, um, the Texas A&M San Antonio University Jaguars. How do you how do you think this will fare out, Brady? You know, I think both teams are really looking for their first one tonight, Jackie, and I'm very excited to see Butler Esports play tonight. I think some of these players are also on the Overwatch team and are looking for a win tonight, so I'm very excited to see how this game is going to go. So am I. Um, upon doing further research, we've got um, both teams sitting in an ONC record right now, both the Jaguars and the Bulldogs sitting there fighting for that win. Very, very exciting stuff tonight. Um, in terms of roster lineups, we've got... Um, Big Sad Depression, Intrepid Cash, uh, Fours, Lyric, and um, Honed. So how do you think How do you think these guys are going to put it out? You know, I'm really excited to see how Fours is going to do tonight. Also, who doesn't want uh, Bubbles? I mean, he's, he, I would say I'm very excited to see how that's going to play out tonight. As am I. S all uh, right, and the first map tonight, we've got um, Ascent, and I believe this is um, a best of three, a best of three series. So, I'm very excited to see what agents will get here on the Ascent pick. You know, I, I want to see Phoenix. I want to see a Phoenix tonight. You're a big Phoenix fan, interesting. I don't know how good he is right now, but I'm looking forward to seeing characters that I know, at least. As am I. I'm already seeing that Killjoy pick from um, San Antonio. I know this is a big Killjoy map here, especially that B-site setup. I know that's fairly deadly to um, most teams that do run a Killjoy and run into it blind. Um, we see Big Dad Pression on the Omen. Interesting Omen pick. Um, we usually see some a fair bit of Omen. We've seen a lot of controllers on this map, honestly. And I can see them going for that um, double initiator comp. Both teams have a sober here, which I think is going to be very interesting. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, both teams are running the double initiator, as what I can see. Choose we see how to be um, on the side of San Antonio running that raise or hovering over it. But everybody else is locked in. Force on the side. Force run uh, rocking the jet, which is a very interesting pick tonight as well. Very interesting indeed. Here we got the Ascent pick coming out. We've got a uh, double initiator for both sides. Um, an Astra pick on the side of San Antonio compared to the Butler pick of Omen. And then we've also got um, two Sovas. So we get to see a little bit of a Battle of the Sova moment here. Very exciting things. So we've got Butler on the attack first here. Turret out. Butler is on the attack here, and we've got San Antonio oh, rocking. Uh, coming out with the go with the ghost. With the ghost first map. Along with uh, Trepid Cash, that's gonna be very interesting. Oh, he's coming out with the arrow right at the beginning of the map. I'm very interested to see how this plays out. Does he have the lineups? We will see. Right here. I know a bunch of lineups will come out here sooner or later, hopefully from either side. We can only tell. And let's get the show on the road. Looking like a mid push so far from the side of Butler here. Mid control taken very, very fast, already in the market. Looks like they're taking things a bit slow, but they push the straight is to in. B. Seemingly uncontested from what we can see so far. Looks like they're trying to rotate to B. Oh, we get. We've got we got fours here getting the first pick. Oh, you're following up. They're following up. Even three v three here. Bomb is going to go down. Not ready yet. We've got the recon going out here. There they are. We, we already know that one's at least, uh... Cash using both arrows, which is very interesting. Hopefully he can get some value out of that. Last player standing. 
2v1 here. Out. We've got the KO and the Sova here, left alive against the Rays, holding that CT angle. Honeybee's gonna try to push to B with it. this Ray spot, but can he... Is he gonna be able to get any value out of this? Time may be running out here. 10 HP in a dream. I'm really not sure if he's gonna be able to use this bomb in time. I don't think so either. That is yeah. the first round going to the Butler Bulldogs. However, great. everybody falls to the spot. That was a great, great by first round. Yeah, that, re that mid push really uh, went uncontested. We found the two A players of uh, Turned out. just trying to rotate there as fast as possible, but by the time they did, it was already too late. They've already got that mid control coming into market and just taking that site for free. It seemed like their ability usage was very solid as well, not wasting any abilities and also getting decent value out of each of their uses. It seems to be that way. Butler's playing this very, very smart so far. How will San Antonio respond to that? Looks like we're doing a split A here on the side of Butler. Looks like the Astra's pushing that mid through the smoke, maybe. They're just holding that angle. However, it seems like the fast rotate's coming out. Oh, G-Force does get one. Gets the raise coming out. That is out. a great opening pick, and with Helen planting already, you know, fast down. start. Fast start for Butler, but the bomb is already planted. With the Cypher posting up on points, let's see if his tripwires can get a lot of value here if they push to the A side. Lots of things going on here, but... That post plant's looking very solid on the side of Butler's. I'm very curious to see how San Antonio will respond. That's a great pick here. There's a pick on the Sova. Oh, that is three oh. for Butler Esports. Oh my Three for Butler goodness. Esports and another round win. That was played perfectly. They had very fast plans. They really capitalized off that. That post plant is crucial for Butler Esports. Honestly, the Bulldogs just needed to get a good post plant down. And that's about it. That post plate cannot happen. The Cypher, too strong. That was a very good play by the Cypher, by Butler. Looks like Trepicash going for the arrow, for the arrow rollout once again here. Oh? We do not see a mid arrow here. We've got the B, -B arrow. We okay. are, indeed. Looks like, and it looks like uh, San Antonio playing a lot more defensively in Almost predicting, uh, trying to predict the push that Butler's gonna hold. It looks like they are looking towards uh, it looks like a little Bu heavily stacked B here. Butler is adapting very well. Oh my goodness. That is a good trade though, by, by the Rays. And two go down for San Antonio. Breach done comes off there. He takes out the Killjoy bot. That's very good. Oh, oh and the KO falls, falls to the Sova. Will they rotate off of this? This is an even 3v3 right now. You've got the Sova lurking right still towards A, towards looks, that CT site. Looks like they're looking for an A rotate. Slow but steady wins the race. They still got 30 seconds on that clock left. With the Cypher alive, that's going to provide a lot of value. Spike planted. That's that the bomb did go down. Looks like Butler looking for very good hold up here on A. We've got two on heaven right now. We've got the breach and the killjoy. Oh, oh and the Sova falls, and that is a quick trade. Two v one here against the breach with the jet and the omen. And that is the um, G-Force kill, third. That was a great rotate by Butler Esports. That was a very, very calculated rotate from Butler Esports there. I think the Sova just got there a little too uh, too late on the side of San Antonio and just couldn't stop the plant fast enough. 30 seconds on the clock. Butler is playing rather slow, but it's, it panned out for them very well the last round. Hey, what can I tell you? Slow and steady wins the race here. We are kind of looking at a what seems to be a B push here. Oh, this is a nice spot. Will we see the uh, Silver Dart come out from Intrepid Cash on the B site, or are we sitting and waiting a little bit? 
Looks like Honeybee tried to get some value off that grenade, but had no no impact on the game. Oh. There is that kill joy lane setup that I was hoping to see tonight. Very well played. However, those two kills were quickly traded by G-Force. 3v3, very even fight so, so far. We are going to see the bomb remaining. get down. However, it is a 2v1 here for Honed. Oh, and Honeybee picks up the Vandal. That's going to change the Last field player. very fast. 1v1 here. Nice play on uh, the Cypher here. How will we see this turn out? Boombot goes out left. And wow, he gets that it. Is perfectly played by Perfectly Sports. played by the Cypher there. Isolating fights. Take, you never want to take um, two at the same time there. Absolutely not the move, however. Play that very well. Cypher played that very well. All you've got to do is just not peek one by one and you're golden. But y if you are the lesser party there, you want to take just 1v1s and simply not get that kill traded immediately. 100%. So... Bellary Sports looking like they might do a split B push here. Focusing oh. on that mid control. Yeah. We also saw in that first round that mid control is crucial for Bellary Sports to secure the um, first round win. They're able to take a lot of space through B, which is very impressive. Oh. All right, we got picks one. G Force already. First pick down. Down there, Sova already. So that's a crucial piece of intel that they're already lacking. However, both mid. Sova's traded out. That's a great pick. Another by one on the breach. We see the Killjoy very, very low here on site, and falls three for G-Force already here on the jet. A plant by Big Side Depression coming in at B. Looks like San Antonio looking for the rotate. 4v2 here. Honey be taken down the... Oh! G-Force goes down by the Astra there. Great flash by Lyric here. But cannot capitalize off that. Got a solid 3v2 going. Oh, oh and that was kill. That was a great, great move there by Lyric. Two and just open oh, a timeout here with um, Texas A&M taking the timeout. That is a great opening for Butler Esports. A f a 5-0 start. 5-0 start there. Five zero start. I Do you think have they've been? They've just been going out strong here. Bellary Esports has been able to adapt perfectly. I really want to know what San Antonio is going to try to do with this timeout because I don't know what they're trying to look for here. The brakes have not been hit here. Uh, goodness, the brakes have not stopped whatsoever here on the Butler side. What will San Antonio do to counteract that? I can't. Butler Esports has also been able to finish out many of these matches with plenty of players alive, so they're not losing any any money to, for the buy shop, too. So they're coming out swinging on each round, which is very impressive. I'm really curious to see how um, San Antonio will respond to that. I remember they try to stack B, um, a more heavily sided um, B stack there from the um, side of the Jags, and Butler was just able to adapt to it. Very, very nicely. And looks like Butler's looking for a hard A push as well here. Time for a field test. We might see that jet lurking through mid though. I'd be very interested to see some crazy jet plays right here. Looks like Butler's taking this rather slow. Very slow start here. The smoke does go out from Big Sad Depression. Looks like he's And the KO ult smoke. goes out. Oh, we get chaos one. Get first to fall. However, that is traded very, very fast here. Looks like San Antonio bought a judge this round. Very interesting. The breach falls as well. We've got a 4v3 here with uh, G Force coming out. Uh, planted. They get the plant down. And we've got that Killjoy ult coming online for the side of San Antonio. How will Butler react to this? Placing down the Killjoy bot on the high, that is Raise very falls. good. 
it is a 3v1 once again. We see ourselves in this situation, quite frankly, a lot. Standing ahead. So we're looking for any value there of that are. recon dart. He does spot Trevor Cash, but is that enough to do anything? Oh. oh, and that is a kill on 2v Omen. Oh. And Hone was there and to falls. trade that real fast. A strong start here for Butler Esports. Plenty of economies still going through it. Buying is not an issue here for Butler. I'm curious to see how much um, San Antonio has been able to uh, rotate their econ around. I definitely noticed a stinger in the last round, which is, I believe, still very, fairly powerful in the game. Could I be wrong? I'm not sure. The stinger did get a nerf as of, oh. as of late. That stinger nerf, a lot of nerfs have been coming out recently. We've had the stinger nerf to um, 1100 credits now instead of the usual 950. So that has to be impacting San Antonio in a very large way. This is looking like a B push on the side of Butler Esports. Oh, so However, one, out. one does get scanned, and G-Force falls, the jet is down, that leaves no entry point for the, um... Looks like Butler looking for a rate to Butler rotate spot. B. Yep. San Antonio really looking to control that mid, though. Does not want to give it up lightly to Butler Esports. It looks like they're looking for that A rotate, though, but... You've already got two rotating from it, you've got the Astra in the breach, staying on that A side, however... Big side depression looking for some optimal smokes here, but is that enough to take mid here? And that raise falls. A little bit of spraying through the smoke here. Big side depression I with the TP exactly to A. The ATP does come out, however. Oh, the church. Sova falls, Intrepid Cash gets taken out by Church there. That is a very good pick. We could be seeing the first map from San Antonio being picked up here. First time they've been up in numbers here, um, this match. How are we going oh. to say? And Big Sad Depression falls there by the Breach on Heaven. Easily traded One up there by the remaining. Cypher. 3v1 situation. Home takes one down, but and that is the first map on to or first match on to um, San Antonio. San Antonio played that very well. Played that very smart. The mid control, I think, is something that they've realized is very, very crucial that Butler utilizes to their advantage, and safe to say they've adapted. The question is, will we see this? Will we will we see the adaptation just continue on for um, the rest of this Butler attacking side here? The aggression is strong from the Butler side, though. We've been we've been seeing the picks, we've been seeing the smart plays, we've seen the slow rotates, we've seen everything here. And looks like Butler's still trying to control that mid here, but they're rotating to A. It seems like very interesting play here from interesting Butler play there from Butler Esports indeed. Oh. And the Sova falls. That is gonna hurt Butler Esports in a very large way here. 5v4, however, that quickly gets... Tr uh, two trades happen here. Um, we've got a 4v3 situation here with uh, San Antonio with the uh, numbers here. And I really want to see what Butler Esports um, will execute with their lack of numbers here again. Looks like the Omen looking for a plant at B, but... San Antonio looking for the very quick rotate. Very, very quick Spike rotate planted. here. Oh. We get the O'Mill out. However, Raze is traded by the KO there. Oh. And it's as over as quick as it started. That is a um, another round win for... Um, San Antonio. It looks like Church is getting a lot of value here and coming out with very large picks throughout the map from San Antonio. They're playing this very well. In all honesty, I don't see Astra play it all that much and I'm kinda happy to say that I've been seeing some Astra play here as of late. Out. Looks like Butler Esports is looking for an A push here. Their B and mid pushes have not worked out these past two rounds. I mean, I can't blame them. Uh, San Antonio's really just adapted to that mid control and just thought, hey, we we need to have more backup on that. A killjoy can hold a site all by yourself. Let's be real here. 
their timeout definitely has benefited San Antonio more oh, than for anything. Sure. It is looking like a split A push with the Jet and the Omen coming out through Tree. Trepid looking for the dart. Does not look like he gets anybody with it. The drone is out, however, it is... Oh, and we get the breach there. 31 HP and a dream. Looks the like race falls there, though, of course. He used her ult there as well and did not get anything with it. That's going to really hurt San Antonio throughout the rest of the... Uh, their, their defense side. Clean shot there from the Sova to Sova. However, that kill is quickly traded. We are at a 3v3 again. Just kidding, 2v3. Oh, the 2v2 here. The Breach takes out the KO. Let's see how Butler Esports adapts to this. 31 HP and a a 2v1 here, what happens with Butler Esports? A 2v1, the Killjoy is looking to get a pick. 1v1 here. Big sad depression. And big sad depression. Comes out clutch with that post plant. He played that perfectly, hiding in the back, right under the high ground. Patience is key, you know? Patience is key, it really is. I see, um, I see a lot of Valorant matches where they're more concerned about um, potentially getting the frag for it rather than just playing it safe, and that's where you go wrong. That would be me. <laughs> I might be on your lobbies, Jackie. Oh my goodness. Straight up in my lobbies. Everywhere I go. We see the Sova and the Astra still sitting mid here, and two on A this time around with the Killjoy left to fend for herself. Oh, and Butler Esports is sacking the B side. I'm not sure if San Antonio is going to be able to defend this here. The Killjoy in the back of B takes out Lyric. However, that res will go shortly up, and the Killjoy gets taken out. I'm not so sure on what happens to what I saw were Molly's on the lane setup, the typical lane setup that every Killjoy has utilized once or twice in their lives. Um, but it, I didn't see any Molly's just go off. They were just there. And that was free lane control for uh, Butler. Looks like Killjoy's turret is not getting any value either here. Up on the high ground, not shooting anything. Oh, oh and the Sova falls to the hands of Dream Horse, but that kill is quickly traded out. 4v3 here. 4v3 situation here. Church and the Omen goes down. down. Oh, the Ray's jumping oh. gets taken down. Trepid Cash and Honed held it down. Trepid Cash popping off right at the end of the round. They're really helping Butler Esports out. Reaver skin line buff. That's what I'm telling you. That's just that's just the skin line. We also see some of the Butler players as well as um, maybe I saw some on the side of San Antonio. However, that um, new VCT knife coming out. At a hefty price of around fifty dollars, but it's money well spent, in my opinion. I'm very concerned for the Butler Esports players' wallets after you say that. After you're saying Skins that. equals wins. I guess it's really working out here in their it's favor. It's really working out in their favor. You love to see it glow. That's Butler about Esports it. looking for the straight A push here. Let's. Oh, but. The jet is in. San, the jet is in. San Antonio has also had a very fast push. Very very up clustered to here. Mid. We have the Killjoy ult going out, lots of ults getting traded here, the Sova ult on the uh, side of Butler here. Looks like Breach looking for something here. The Astro ult also comes out here from uh, San Antonio. However, no trades have been made yet. The bomb is down. It's a few... Oh, oh big sad depression. depression. Trades on both sides here. Last player standing. Oh. And, oh my goodness, Butler is just a to be reckoned with here on the Last attacking push. The switch. I'm not sure what that giant wall was, but it's sure as heck not as good as the Symmetra turret in Overwatch. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Lots of ults traded out though, but this is last round, so this is the final round of Butler's attacking push. Um, I would love to see an op in this final round here. Am I gonna get it? Probably not. Oh, goodness. You are in my lobbies, Brady. <laughs> what can I say? I, I, like, I like the one-shots. We are 
going back into this. Ooh, and the Astro already falls not that long into the round here. Butler. Mid control is Butler's. However, they do not see that Killjoy lurking through the smoke there. Oh, the Killjoy turret goes down there. A hard B pushing with that breach on San Antonio, looking for the rotate from their right there. from their spawn. But oh, and the KO goes down. However, will Spike get planted? Yes, it will. We've got oh a four v three situation going in here. G Force on the jet. Intrepid Cash picks one. The Cipher picks one. All there is left is Honeybee on the side of San Antonio. What will the Rays be able to do here? 30 HP, Rays, 30 and 50 HP, and a dream! Picks off, picks off the jet there. Oh, well, using their other attack. Ever. Hurt that honeybee. Will there be enough time to defuse is the question, and oh. it's not looking very favorable. However, picks off one, but... Picks off one and gets traded for the other. However, now we get to see what... Texas A&M is um, cooking here for the good old um, attacking push. We've got to see what Butler is cooking up on the defensive side here. You know, with Butler taking 10 rounds on the def on the attack there, I'm really scared for San Antonio as defense, like, ideally you want to pick more, pick up more rounds on defense here, but I'm really interested to see how they're going to adapt to the rest of this map, or is Butler Esports just going to run through these next couple rounds. I don't know, we'll see. Some people can argue that a set is an attacker sided map, however, we we want to see the gameplay for it, we want to see the action. I wanted to see if uh, Anna does do the mid push here, as it worked so well for Butler, it may work out for them as well. However, we've got two there, and it looks like the rotation coming off from Butler is anticipating that mid push. Oh, and Sova falls on the side one. of Butler. 4v5 situation here. And they're playing it slow. They know this mid is heavily contested right now. On both sides, actually. Got a flash left for Breach. If I were San Antonio here, I'd be really looking for the rotate, but... But it's right already there. expected. We've got two on A on the side of Butler. We've got the KO and the Jet both rotating A and... Not much Seeing movement. they're not there. Oh, and San Antonio goes and oh, takes down yeah. the Omen. 5v3 here. Weak. Cypher's able to get the raise, however, that kill is easily traded out. Bro, I'm looking for the plants here. Ink can't get it off. Just the KO on the jet left for the side of Butler and a 4... 4v2 going on with both players coming from B main. Looks like the KO looking for Flash, but does not get anything. G-Force looking for the G-Force falls but... to the Killjoy in the market. Ah. And that is a round win for San Antonio. Maybe this map is just an attack side map. I'm not sure, but San Antonio played that very well here. Very well, and Butler was... Butler was really assuming that that mid push was going to turn into an A push real fast. We had two people from the side of Butler rotate over to the A site just to no avail to see the omen fall. San Antonio played that mush mid push very well. They just held it and were able to pick off Butler Esports defending side there. However, this is looking like an A push on the side and oh, the jet falls. The Marshall. Marshall menace there. We've got a three-person push A main here. The Killjoy lurking that mid. Lyric looking to get a pick with the Sheriff here, but Big Sad Depression looking for the, the rotate, but Cheeky oh. smoke pick there. Looks like San Antonio looking for the rotate. But Butler Esports is also anticipating it. How is this round gonna play out here? I'm very interested to see. This may be a fake, this may be a mid push. That we don't really know at this point. We saw what they did on the last round there on their attacking side. And. Oh! Lyric gets a free pick but instantly gets traded. That was a great headshot there by Lyric. 
Oh, and that kill is traded out. 3v2 there on the favor of uh, San Antonio. Home with the shorty. I'm seeing some very underrated weapons here. I'm loving this round so far. You have to remember that this is Butler's eco round of, at the moment after left. losing that pistol true. round. So any picks that, any damage that they can do right now, it's good damage. San Antonio looking for this plant here at 3v2 in favor of San Antonio. Butler looking for the rotate. They still have a Sova and Omen alive here, which hopefully will provide them a lot of value. Sova was looking to come through market there in Trumpet Cash. Um, and we've got the Omen pushing up from B main. Big Sad Depression looking to get a pick off with a Marshall in hand and a dream. Oh, and they both and it fall. Was, it was a dream outlived. Brother Esports not, not being able to take up a round on defense here. San Antonio has adapted very well so far while attacking. I'm telling you, it's a good it's a good attacking sided map. It's also a good map if you are Killjoy for that B lane setup. However, Butler has not been able to capitalize yet um on this on this defending round. However, they do have real weapons here now, no saving, no charges. and we are just waiting to see what happens. The ability is being thrown out right at the beginning. Still looks like a full B push here. The killer is still lurking by tiles, Brother looking Esports for a pick. Looking for the, for the rotate, having one on eight still to cover that rotate, but... Am I seeing a mid push here by the jet? You think G Force's aggression will come out strong here? I would love to see a crazy ace here. But I I think ideally you don't want to sacrifice yourself here at such a very pivotal round. Absolutely not. The raise is in sight. Gets picked off by the cipher there. 43 HP and a dream while the Cypher sits at full health and 8 bullets left. San Antonio able to put down the plant. That's going to be very huge here. However, G-Force gets the breach there. And they pick up two. This might be Butler's round. This might be. And it is. The Bulldog's there. Finally getting one on the defense it's, or defense side sorry um you finally get to see what they can do um if you put a vandal in their hands or a phantom however that will hurt the economy of san antonio here will we see a full save will we see a force here it's I'm... very interesting it seems like both teams coming out here with a full buy full buy san antonio most likely has been able to save up their econ for the past couple rounds, outliving Butler Esports by a fair margin. G-Force looking to get a pick here in mid. Does not look like it's going to happen with the smoke followed by it. G-Force's aggression on this defensive side, it just, it doesn't get any better than this. Oh, and this rotate might be caught off guard. Oh, and it does. Played. The Killjoy oh, falls. And oh, oh, and he down. takes one with him. That was a huge play by G-Force. Taking two one, with his life. Oh, is that two ults going ball? out here? The Astro Wall comes out from the side, and it does benefit them here in the long run. 3v2 situation. However, Breach. Their breach has 43 HP, and unless Butler Esports can execute something on here, one kind of we'll see. The wall goes well. down. Home gets one. However, one enemy remaining. Oh, so, so it falls. However, the site lifts. Not for too long. Another round going to San Antonio here. San Antonio played that very well. They were able to capitalize off the A, defend it. I was really expecting Butler Esports to win that with the two opening picks by G by G Force, but they A strong just start, however. weren't able to capitalize. Do you think San Antonio will be able to kind of pick up on the lurk of the jet here? Try to get that early pick off. 
I think that, I think they're gonna start to expect it. Oh, Butler Esports looking for a save here. We'll save here. They have plenty right of rounds there. to spare, but will they be able to t pick up this map? I'm not sure. Oh, G4's coming out with the jet knives here. Oh, Butler Esports looking for the situation here. The jet with one HP and a giant. Oh, man. and it falls to a raise bot that's recently been nerfed, actually. Trepid Cash holding down. The Killjoy okay. does get spotted there. However, Big Side Depression falls in the process of doing so. Looking like an A push here from um, the mid. And we've got both the Sova and the Cypher rotating fast here. Taking that heaven control. And bomb is going to go down now. A sonic arrow going down by Trappy Cash is able to spot a couple of players, but he's not able to pick he's up. Not able to capitalize on that. I think that save round is going to benefit Butler very well here. I mean they were able to take down the Sova, that's uh that's about it. On the side of San Antonio, so I want to see how Spike Butler there. fares here. Butler Esports looking for. F it looks like they're doing a full buy. Fight there. San Antonio is unsure of where they're going. Their Killjoy may lurk uh, towards the B mid side here, and it might just be an A push. Reticence looking for this Sova drone right out the gate. Take flight. But is he going to get any value here? G4 is looking down mid. And oh. that is an operator pick, Brady. You get what you wished for here. And the Killjoy falls in the process. I was hoping that I would see an op here. And it looks like... It looks like San Antonio is Good going to leave from that. However, the Astra does have Spike, and she's still stuck at A main. Smokes herself off to cover for it, however... If she gets picked off here, that's gonna be... That's going to be crucial for Butler Esports in winning the round. They're going to be able to hold down that bomb. Still looking for a mid-rotate here. I'm not sure... It might be a push in the tree, and oh. the... It's the operator time. Trappy Cash does fall here. However, that AWP is still in play. This could be a dangerous, dangerous game here for both sides. If G Force falls with it, that's a free op for the enemy team. If G Force is able to hold down Mini here with the off while they rotate, that's going to provide so much value for Butler Esports. It is going to be a B rotate. However, you've got a Cypher sitting there. They are able to get out of that Jet's Wrath, but Butler Esports look for the rotate to be. Spamming out a little bit. 13 seconds left here on the clock. Will oh, they have enough time? Player standing. Ah. Ooh, Ooh, Church takes down fight. one. However, oh, the, it the is reload. Two seconds left. The Jet is chasing after this. G Force is hungry for a shorty. Are they? Oh, and, and he, he falls, loses. and the up is lost. He gets. Three at the but end, and they lose the op. I'm not very sure that that was a... I don't, uh, that's I don't not know. ideal for Butler Esports. I feel that was for um, the Bulldogs here, but the Jaguars are able to secure another round. Butler has just one more waiting for him to secure the secure the win for the first map of Sun here. Butler Esports, right looking, they may be looking to buy here. But that's gonna hurt their economy. That is going to hurt the economy. G Force looking down to hold down main again. G Force pick. picks the Killjoy off. It's just a sp it's just expected at this point. However, that does mean that the Killjoy was expecting um, Jet to be there too. G Force has been crucial to, the, to this team's success here in in the defense round, and it's really working out for Butler. That aggression coming out of him. It is paying off so well for the Butler Esports here. For the Bulldogs, it's looking great. You want to it. However, the Astro Wall does come out from the side of uh, San Antonio here. And the KO ult is uh, just a little response from Lyric. However, we still have 
we still have two holding the A main here with the Sova and the Breach looking to take mid control here. Brother and Depression falls. Brother Esports Sova looking to pick off these two here, but G Force falls to the Breach. Quickly turning this into a game of numbers. 30 seconds left. Trevor Cash, you get that rotate? Falling very, very low. And yet, it is just Trepid Cash with um, relatively low HP in a dream here. 11 HP to be exact. Um, I'm not very sure how this is going to pan out into Butler's favor, but... And he and falls. And he falls to the raise there. Those 3v1 situations... You just gotta take fights by one by one, but at the same time, 11 HP, there's not much you can do with that. 7 to 12 here now, um, with Butler Esports just getting one more round win to secure the map. However, San Antonio has been showing a really good showing after adapting to Butler's playstyle here. San Antonio played that round perfectly. They were down yeah. one, they were able to regroup, recollect themselves, and really just push out with that round very strongly early picks do not matter okay. to them they will still capitalize on mistakes either big mistakes or small mistakes run. that players made and we've got the killjoy out here coming into b site Nowhere to run. and the sova ult comes out as well oh, sure however two one. take two are taken out here on the set of butler However, they are able to respond there fast. Oh, the Sova ult coming out by Trepid Cash. He spots. Trepid Cash oh. gets one. It's a 3v1 in Butler's favor. This may be the map. And it is. The Bulldogs take map one here of Ascent. The Bulldogs play that round perfectly. Popping the GG's in chat. And a GG's indeed. <laughs> Good game and a good showing there from Butler Esports. Just a great match overall from both teams. I I saw a lot of promise. I saw a lot of aggression, a lot of tenacity from both sides, and each round played out played out very well. I would 100% agree. I definitely think San Antonio can put up a fight with this team. I can see this going all the way. I could also see Butler Esports capitalizing off that win and just dominating in the second map, but I'm really excited to see how the next map goes. I'm also excited to see how the next map goes. Um, that Ascent pick, I was a little bit concerned for the Bulldogs there at the start um, with a lack of a Killjoy. I am a Killjoy main myself, so I know that Ascent is a map that she does very well on. So seeing that on the side of um, San Antonio, I saw some promise on their side. However, the Bulldogs were able to prevail there and play out rounds on an aggressive um, aggressive note. We saw G-Force taking that mid control, lurking, um, taking out the Killjoy. That was lurking mid as well. Uh, and just taking taking out whoever you could see. Yes, I' not very sure. If San Antonio were able to capitalize much with that killjoy. The turret did not get much value. I think I they were if they were able to play that a lot better, they might have went in San Antonio's favor. I know, and exactly. Um, it was a bit odd for me to see the raise pick as well. Uh, with the recent raise nerf. Just yesterday, I think it was, uh, with the boombot duration uh, changed from 10 seconds to 5. I was very surprised to see the uh, raise pick come out. However, um, Honeybee wasn't able to capitalize too much as well, and I believe that some of that might be through the boombot changes. Yeah, I... Those lineups. Yeah. And with the Stinger nerf, I think that also really hurt both the players' economies, but... Butler Esports obviously able to make it out on top. A very attack-sided map, I would 100% say. Valor map tends to do that. I've noticed it's either fully attack-sided or fully defender-sided, and I'm very excited to see uh, the next pack pick going out here. Um, what do you think Butler Esports is going to do with this next map? 
I think they take the win that's going in their favor and keep rolling with it. Yeah, I'm very excited to see what the players are going to be able to do. I'm looking for another op. I would love to see more ops. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm very excited to also see what um, San Antonio's got going for him as well. I know that timeout was crucial for them. Um, bounced back a few rounds, and I want to see how they respond to the play style after knowing this is how Butler plays, just how to respond to it in general. Yeah, I, I really think San Antonio is going to be able to put up a much better fight in this next, in this next map. I think they're warmed up, and... Hopefully, Butler Esports can combat it, but if they start out slow, I think San Antonio is really going to give Butler Esports a run for their money to save. Absolutely right there, Brady. Just a few more minutes here um, until the next map, and I am really looking forward to it still. I know I've said it a million times, however, it's just something that I'm really looking forward to. Yeah. I'm really hoping for a third map. You know, I may have homework, but I'm here for the entire series, and I want a third map. I want a third map as well. I really want to see how these teams duke it out. I want, Evenly matched, I'd say. I would definitely say so. San Antonio giving Butler a run for its money towards the attack side, but also other sports starting off very strong for the attacking side. Maybe if San Antonio had the attack first, this game might have went a very different way. I definitely agree. Um, I think that attack was just very solid. I want to see that aggression come out from Butler Esports. I want to see that. I want to see the Bulldogs just keep, you know, the aggression like the U.S. of like tension out. One hundred percent. I think G Force's aggression throughout most, especially on the defense side, really caught San Antonio off guard. Even though he may have fallen, he is able to get those picks. Butler Esports needs to continue the rounds. They're also playing their economy very well. I agree completely. You have the save rounds and you have the ecos. I love eco rounds more than anything. I love seeing how creative these teams can get, um, like either shorties or classics against a full buy. It's just it's just interesting to see how these teams adapt within each other, and I want to see if there's going to be a change in the nature of San Antonio's side here. 100%. I was very excited to see the op with the shorty too. With He provides the long range uh, capabilities, but he also has the short range with the shorty. He is able to defend himself from anybody that looks to dive him on the high ground. And it was, they played it perfectly. So we've got a 1-0 start here for the Butler Bulldogs against the San Antonio Jaguars. What? I am very much so looking forward to see how the rest of the series plays out. Looks like G-Force coming out the strongest for Butler Esports. Church was providing a lot of value. I think it's another player that we should pay very close attention to in this next round. I definitely agree. You usually don't see the controller role um, at the top of the leaderboard, per usual. Um, it's usually those duelists, those initiators, because um, you're providing so much utility and so much space for your team, you just, you're not up there in front of the action. It's expected out of a duelist such as Jet or a Rays or a Reyna. However, however, it's just nine first bloods there coming out from the jet uh with g-force on the jet there nine first bloods compared to quite frankly the rest of the leaderboard that is impressive that is insane g-force coming out of nine rounds to get the pick is huge for brutally Sports. really helping this team out in the long run i think that map really showed how a jet can really carry a map here that duelist role is just relatively crucial there um, with the just the whole team just doing so well. The side of Butler Esports, it was just full force aggression, getting those picks as needed and securing those rounds, playing the time. Alrighty, and we will be right back with a short break, um, and we will catch you guys for map two here, real shortly.
and welcome back everybody quite a short break but hey we're back on we get to see more butler esports action here i'm very excited to see how this next plays next map plays out as i've said i think we're getting icebox here if i believe i may be mistaken but i believe so i believe it is also a san antonio pick here with uh butler esports i think on the attack first here and I'm very excited to see you. Um, so for oh. Agent Select, we get to see the Battle of the Vipers is what it is looking like. The same, the sage pay, or the sage pick there. Oh my goodness, excuse me. The sage pick coming out here from both teams. Both teams with the Sova here, as is expected, very strong. But Viper, that's... Viper. I'm very excited to see how that plays. Viper is Icebox's playground. Ooh, and the two sages. However, we see the Sova return once again, but this time it is Braum on the Sova. Trepid Cash still staying true to it. And G4 is still on the jet. It doesn't look like that many changes are happening on the side of Bowler Esports, with the exception of a Sage instead of a Cypher. Looks like they still have a KO with those flashes. going to be crucial. San Antonio still with the Breach. And the Raze is still kept on the side of San Antonio. Not much changed except for that... Um, for the Viper. For the Viper and, pick. Yeah. And the Sage. I'm really looking forward to how these teams are going to be using the Rezes, using the Ice Walls. Maybe some insane ice wall plays here coming out from both teams. I'd like to see a Grimwall or two here being used. And it looks like Big Sad Depression has the um, orb line up here for what looks like a mid push. For the side of Butler here. Oh, it looks like he's hit by a He just hit by the sun. Oh, the however, the Lyric falls first there to the raise grenade. However, they're still looking to push A here. Vibes. Down in numbers, however, San Antonio the Viper breach gets the picked rotate. off here. G4 is able to get that pick with the ghost. Reticence falls, however, the numbers are even now here for the side of both San Antonio and Butler. However, the spike carrier goes down with the sage falling. The trade was able to happen for both sides there. Big Sad Depression takes out the sage as well as the raise taking out G-Force looking for this raise here. I bet I'm 3 VT oh. situation, and it is now Spike Trepid Cash left A. alone on the site. Trepid Cash getting off some shots. Ow. Oh, and eventually he falls down. here to the Viper. Church on the Viper. That is something that I'm very, very excited to see. I've seen Church absolutely doing well. And Top of the leaderboard there is Astra, so I'm very like I'm very excited to see what they have to show off here on the Viper. We've got a whole different as like a new aspect of utility here. We've got the Mollies. We have to see if there are any lineups or anything going on, because I know there's a bunch of that, especially in Icebox. <laughs> Looks like Butler Esports looking for B push here through the back. Oh, G-Force going in with the jet, but he falls, falls to the Sage with a Spectre. They're still siding with that B-Push there with the KO lurking mid, however. Church looking to hold down B. Oh, the Viper wall going down. You got the Viper with a Judge here. This could end very poorly for... And the bomb goes down. This could have ended really poorly for home there. I just saw a Viper, and I just saw a Judge, and I I'm, feared that might have been the end of it. Yeah. Dark Depending does on how come they play out. This, San Antonio could be able to push through. Oh, but they're 90 in hell. Let's look at the Sage. Gets the heal off. It may be best to play for time. However, they have the full advantage here. The Viper does fall. Trepid Cash gets two with a classic. Oh, oh does as well. Will Butler Esports be able to do this with an econ round? Unfortunately. The eco coming wow. out there. 
However, two members of the Bully Sports squad fall. However, the eco in there, that is huge. That is crucial. Bully Sports played that absolutely perfectly with the amount of util that they had, the poor economy that they had there, really coming out and insanely strong from Butler Esports. Very surprising round. And two, those, those two kills coming from Trepid Cash there, that was something I never thought I'd see, especially on an eco round. Trepid A Cash. classic kill. Exactly, two. and they had Spectres on the other team. That was perfectly played by Trepid Cash. You get to see a what looks to be a full buy coming out from the side of Butler Esports. Yeah. However, the rotate is coming out fast for the side of San Antonio. Sova Drone does go out on the side of Butler Esports. The jet is in, and the raise falls. However, G4 swarm down the Vandal. Lyric was able to trade that kill, however. Hone looking for the wall here. Oh, and the shock dart takes out the sage. That kill is a lot of trades just happening back and forth here. A 2v2 very even round here. Spike planted. Ooh, but San the Antonio, spike does go down. San Antonio is playing their eco here. They may be able to do exactly what Butler Esports did in the previous round and pick up this map. I, I'm going not entirely Last sure here. player standing. It's just the Viper that is left. However, it is Church, so. Oh. And, and the under push is just not expected. Unfortunately, that, that drop by the Viper really cost them their life and the round. Exactly. If we haven't learned one thing or two from the Star Wars franchise, it is over Anakin. I have the high ground now, and that high ground did not last. The high ground did not last at all. Looks like Butler Esports is looking for an A-side push here. But it looks like San Antonio is looking to stack A-side as well. Very interesting to see this play out here. We have the Viper going back back to B. However, that rotate is going to be soon short-lived. To trade. trade. Trippy Cash falls, however, Lyric is able to capitalize on that. Church is all the way controlling that mid to B. Two trades going out. Oh, Home two the pick there. Three on bolt going out from Shock San Antonio. Down. That's going to be a lot of value here. Spike it goes planted. down by home. The, the rest res does come through. The question is, could they have the saved The question that? is, where is the Viper? Church is Church there. Church is lurking in the back line. Church is there. Do they know? And it looks like both. Oh, oh 16 that's, HP and a that's dream. A perfect shot. G Force coming back from the ground, getting a pill or pick automatically, and it it's just that easy. G4 seems to be doing a lot here on that jet roll. And we can already we can we can tell from the we can tell from the round wins right now on the favor of Butler. Butler Esports playing this attack very well, and I feel like Icebox is a fairly defense heavy map here. I could be wrong. I am not too sure about it. I've seen the sides of both for both the attacking side and the defending side. Some games, I think it's defender said the other, it's just the latter. We do see a B-sided push, and down goes San Antonio Sova. G-Force getting from there. Pick here. Church. G -force is crucial. We can see, we can see the judge taking kitchen control here. Church looking for a pick with a marshal, unable to get anything. Takes out the recon drone by the, from the Cypher, or the Sova. Church is all the way back by Snowman here. However, the wall does go up from both Fight the Viper planted. and the Sage. Looking to get a hit through that, through that wall. No value there, unfortunately. I like Church's crosshair a lot. That is a very, very interesting crosshair. A little snowflake we got going on there. Read a more of... Oh, I'm just gonna say tic-tac-toe board, however, oh. that middle... Maybe my imagination is just getting the best out of me here. Situation suppressed that bullet would Oh, and Lyric falls there towards the side of yellow. The defuse may just come out here. But the fire. Big sad depression, however. Uh, 
Crows and don't they fade. Fall. Big Sad Depression will be four piece. Big Sad Depression popping off at the end of the Last round. That all standing. being able to save Butler Esports. They look for the defuse, unable to get any value out of that. They looked at a fuse, but he just burned and then Big Sad Depression able to get that pick off. A huge, absolutely huge round. Four of coming out from Big Sad Depression here. I think we've got a good Viper v Viper line or like lineup Leave here. I think it's gonna be a good a good showing, honestly. It's been a good showing for both teams in absolutely. all honesty. Absolutely. Standing Kirby ahead. Cash looking to get the Sonic arrow out here. Does he have the lineups? Yes he does. And no skin you to no avail. However, that KO this. ult does come out from the side of Butler here. Butler's hard rushing a point here. It does not look like there is any signs of stopping. However, G-Force falls. Oh, the double kill by Atlas. Right there. However, that is easily traded. However, Atlas comes yeah. back Triple with a three-piece of their own here. A 3v2 here. They do get Cash spotted. Trepid Cash, Trepid takes, Cash one. takes one down with him. However, that is not enough for the side of Butler. Looks I like haven't seen a strong, super strong, just full B push here. San Antonio has four alts here. They're looking very poised to take these next couple rounds, I think. I do believe so here. However, that could all, all, and I mean all, be changed with just one error. Butler has been able to capitalize some of those little mistakes, but at the same time, San Antonio has too. Viper also already has his ult after one round. That is absolutely huge for Butler. That is absolutely Get out of my way! We see the jet go the jet ult coming out here from the um from G Force here. However, it is looking like a five man rush to B site. The raise is detected. I believe the breach was as well. However, Jet's looking for aggression here. G Force is looking for aggression. Welcome to my world. And the Viper ult does go out. We have the Sova and a uh, Viper from. Oh, nothing. nothing. And G Force getting two here. That is a huge jet ult. And G Force falls. However, so going out as well, popping out of the poison. Big side depression really looking to control. And the plant here. does not go down. That is absolutely tragic for Mother Force. Oh, not yeah. in the plant. The lyric goes down. However, this is. It's Ooh. looking favored. For San Antonio here. Except One enemy remaining. Oh, and he oh. falls. Butler Esports. Out of absolutely time. tragic round there. A little bit unfortunate there. That Viper ult just did not give the coverage that it was supposed to. I was expecting a plant there by Butler Esports, but to no avail. I think without that plant, during, within the Viper ult, that really cost Butler the round. Indeed it did. We are looking at what seems to be an A push coming out from the side of Butler here. This is a big round here. That could maybe change the pace of the game. The raise nade does come out for that delay of an A push. However, word got around and it looks like a rotate is coming out onto A site. very slowly using their abilities and looking for any optimal picks here this may just be a fake oh they're it looking looks like they're rotate. leaving but san antonio already has a viper controlling b and i think they know what butler esports is doing here however the means of doing so the sova is perfectly posted up here Oh, swing and a miss there from Trepid Cash. However, the Viper. He is going to get a huge. Oh, and no. he falls. However, that is easily traded out. The numbers are even once again. However, one enemy remains. One they fall. Like down. Me. Take down Force? Two. Five HP and a dream here for the Jet. Night, night. And G Force takes down. And takes left. down Raze. It's a 1v2. 1v2, here. 5 HP, a dream, and. Dream short lived indeed. Viper would come through the back line. We've got an even score line here, four to four for both sides. Church 
is on a roll. I will say that much. We've been getting to see a lot of the showings here from both teams, but Church is trying to assert the dominance there. Alice has also had a, a few right good there. plays here on the stage. We were right there. It was 2-4 in favor right of Elder Esports, but those two rounds, San Antonio Ready. had alts, they had an econ, and they were just able to run up the ticket there. Forever. It is looking like that A push again. However, it's looked like it's oh and honeybee gets two there the res comes out for the sova however the rotate is going fast two on the flank already and the other two are sitting right pretty on site drone coming out from the side of san antonio quickly shot down reticence able to get the pick however that is traded very very fast trip cash planning now and it is a 3v3 situation it is now a 3v1 situation. It's Spoken too soon. Tied to that that flank changed. The flank was just crucial. They don't know where G Force is at. G Force, but G -Force, G -Force knows what they're at. One on the side for G Force there. Oh, and G Force and just balls. Just unlocking timing there. That flank was crucial. And I mean crucial for San Antonio to get that round. Church has been able to play the defense Viper very well, getting those rotates, getting those backline pushes. It's been absolutely perfect for San Antonio these past couple rounds. And look at that pretty green glowing melee. It's really tempting me to <laughs> spend my money there a little bit. My wallet would not like it, but I sure would. Thank God I don't play this game. I'm terrified for what my wallet might look like. Too many pretty skins, a night market coming out, I think, today. So, I'm hoping for good pulls for night markets here. We've got a B push coming out from Butler here. Two mollies, one stone, and a Sova drone coming out of the side of Butler here. Trepid Cash scanning everything, able to know where the Viper's at. San Antonio Sova's still looking to get out of my that way. mid with the breach stand at A. So Butler Esports might be able to get the number advantage here. Looking for the plant. And to no avail, the Sage lives. Home just lives. Jed looking to W into their team, but unable to get any Enemy. value there. Force has that aggression in him. Goodness gracious, I've not seen him just play something so passively. Trepid Cash does fall, unfortunately, to the Sage. Atlas has been on a roll. Church taking some shots at G-Force there. I really thought that G Force was about to fall there with the amount of shock darts and utility coming right his way, as well as one enemy remaining. Oh, and two birds, one stone. Big side depression. Able to get two, however, falls to Honey Bee. San Antonio has. Is that is the fourth straight round for San Antonio. It's been a big back and forth, honestly. This is a close. This we knew this was going to be a close game, however. They're, they're bringing it. San Antonio's taking the bag and running away with it, I would say. It looks like there's no sign of stopping. I, I'm i not too sure on how we're going to see Butler Esports here. Um, Butler. Kind of counter back. We've seen the aggression from Forrest, however, it's not been working out too well for him. Butler Esports still looking to slightly buy here. A couple of their players looking for a, a decent save, but... I'm not sure that's going to be able to change the tide for the future rounds. Oh, those stinger increase costs. Quite tragic for, quite frankly, anybody there. Reticence looking for the G-Force P here. Reticence is actively looking. Sacred drone going out. Oh, and Interesting, Sagefall coming out. And oh. the spike does not go down. That is Cone absolutely falls. tragic. G-Force able to take out Honeybee. However, the spike... It's still sitting there. Reticence really has a perfect angle here. Control the bomb. Butler Esports can't really do anything with the bomb here. I mean, it is their save, so... As much damage as you can do to the other team, you know... It'll be any... It'll be good for anything. Lyric falls. Can't use that. Other esports is lyric. One oh, enemy remaining. As well as G Force and, and, and it is uh, a defender win here. 
Last round I have not in the half. seen any any myth pushes here, really, from Baller Esports, except for the one that ended tragically in G4 falling. I think they instinctively know that Sova has been able to have a very good angle in mid, and looks like the Sage going with an op here. Would you looky there? Would you looky there? We've got an operator here coming out of the Sage, and. Baller Esports looking for the buy. This <laughs> looks like an A push here. Last and round before the swap as well. Can San Antonio look for their sixth straight win on Icebox here? And it is looking like the Viper ult is coming out on A's site. I have a feeling that's going to have to force Baller Esports to make that B push, but B fairly held down here. Oh, no. Looks like they're committing to this. G4 I really thought. Reach. I really thought that the that San Antonio's. Um... Oh, and, oh, and, and the, the Viper, Viper pick. However, that is one that you cannot bring back. G Force hitting heads. The plant going off on the side of Butler Esports. However, there are two, two Five lingering plans. around on the plane. Depression able to get two there. Cool, Chris Pet Shots. Absolutely crucial for Bellary Esports here. It is time for Atlas to shine. There is a res on the side. Trepid Cash falls. Oh, G Force falls to the op. Will they be able to get more here with the operator kills? Elder Flame as well. Oh, they know. Oh, the shot miss. Oh, Eric my falls. Three goodness. kills here for Atlas. Will there be a four? Oh, and a hone. Hone had to. That was an exceptional was... performance by Atlas. Atlas. There. Atlas was just on fire, quite frankly. And now we get to see the Butler defense on Icebox 7 to 5. Still a relatively close game here from both sides. Strong showing from both, honestly. Butler Esports is able to shut down San Antonio's run there. That's going to be absolutely crucial for Butler these next couple rounds. This momentum is something that Butler desperately needs, especially letting a lead like that just, quite frankly, just go into a more even game, a more even playing field. I'm very excited to see how Butler Esports approaches this. Looks like we only have one on B, they're really expecting that A side push, but it does not look like that's gonna it be. It does not look like that is the case. The breach done coming through on B, and we get that fast rotate from the KO, from the stage, and from the Sova. The gem but, looking yeah. to take a backlink flank here? G Force on the alert. The wall coming out, no plant yet. Just a lot of utility coming from the both sides, honestly. The wall is being broken. Atlas looking to get a pick here from this angle. G-Force able to take out one. However, that is easily traded. The Sage heal is up. And it looks like they're, they're leaving. But they left the Sage take. behind. Atlas is going made. to be there quite frankly late. And if they're able to catch them off guard in that mid... I don't know what to tell you. The Sova and the Viper are back already. Traffic Cash and Big Sad Depression there. Expecting it. However, Church Looks able like to pick off the KO here. They're able to get that rotate in time, able to plant here. Oh, the and oh. Trepid Cash with the run and gun. Preventing the spike to get planted, and it is on that it's on that uh nest. And they fall. Other it is now a 2v1 to... situation here, Atlas against the world. Yeah, they were able to make that rotate. And Hone able to take advantage of that swing from Trepid Cash. Great Here. rotates by both teams there. Very fast rotate from the side of San Antonio, in my opinion. Honestly, I have not seen a fake yet. Except with the exception of the um, the scent map pool, there's just there has not been a fake yet on the icebox map here. It's very interesting play by them. Unfortunately, for San Antonio, Butler Esports was able to see it and adapt. And just capitalize on that. It is looking like a relative A push here. Looking very fast on A, actually, on the side of San Antonio here. 
Pepper, one was tagged. Now we're looking to get a pick out here with the Marshall, unable to hit anything. Driver Cash looking for that dart, but looks like they're holding underneath here, expecting that push. Hold with the wall coming out. But it looks like they're still pushing. Traffic Cash falls. The wall is still up. However, they rotate. It was just a statement pick. That's simply all there is to it. Big set of pressure. Able to catch Church off guard. And now we are on an even playing field here. Big side impression looking for some picks here, but he has two health. Two HP, a dream, and a Viper screen. Let me tell you about it. It's not looking too good unless that honed um, has the heal orb for him. However, we are not left. too sure the plant is going to go down on the side of and I'm Big Sad Depression able to capitalize on that. Oh. But G-Force falls to the Marshall. Lyric looking for a pick here on the two. Oh, and Atlas gets Honey another. Remaining. Honeybee unable to make the pump. Big Sad Depression here. Do we get to see an ace? Big sad depression. Big Play sad depression. Oh. oh, and a look behind the four piece coming out from Big Sad Depression. We were looking forward to seeing Ace this game. And that it was, was close. very close. I have to say, Atlas and Big Sad Depression are the players to watch this map. Ring, ring. They are both dialed in. Looks like San Antonio looking for it. Maybe a split push here. I'm not sure. Butler Esports playing this defense rather well. That was a very well played round from San Antonio the pre the previous. I was big side depression. Could not do any more. Could not do any more indeed. However, like Atlas is a playmaker. A We've got Hone there hiding behind yellow. It looks like, but it's just a leave. Hone gets one. But that's, that's still a reach down. Oh, Church gets the it. lurking jet. However, the Sova may be able to capitalize on this upon knowing the information that he's given. Atlas, takes Atlas with a marshal. An absolute demon with a marshal. The res the coming res. back up. 4v2, situ 4v1 situation here. A classic and a dream coming out from Big Sad Depression here. Drops down, he falls to the marshal with Atlas in hand. Atlas back to back. Rounds with the Marshall, absolutely impressive. Butler Esports, unfortunately, really really struggling here these past couple rounds. It looks like they've slowed their roll. I thought there was no signs of stopping. However, looking at the scoreboard here, Atlas has 27 on the board. That is absolutely 27 insane. on the board. With Big Sad Depression coming close in line with 17, Atlas has been making a statement this game. Nine assists. It, you can't do any more. I love seeing the absolute reverse Turning rolls ahead. here. At least taking the bag of money and running away with it compared to last round with right Church here. absolutely stunning the audience. Battle sages are sages you need to watch what? out for. Valentine's Day is over. Pocket sages don't exist anymore. Battle sages is where it is at. And Atlas is truly showing that. Trepid Cash picks off the raise. However, is easily traded there by Prom on a right spinner. Oh. Pone is able to take out the breach. G Force able to take out another. However, the spike does go down. One enemy remaining. And it's just a 3v1. However, it's Church. Church able to take one. And falls to Lyric. Exciting round all around here. A lot of plays making, be being made, a lot of playmakers just... Father really regathered Taking the time. There. I think they can't really go about that... The flanks here on this map. San Antonio has adapted very well to their play style. And it seems like the past couple rounds, if they go for flanks, they... It does not pan out as it did the previous map. So Butler Esports really has to adapt for these next couple maps, or these next couple rounds, regather themselves if they really want to take the rest of these rounds. Nine to seven score line here. It just looks real close. 
Looking like a B push coming from the side. However, it may be a fake. That rotate may come in fast. The bait of utility here is what is being looked for and Hone falls to church. To the Viper's Pit comes out here from the side of San Antonio. And Bomb will go down here. Oh, and Atlas falls. What more can you do? What more can you do there? Church One enemy remains. Oh, it takes it down. Oh. Big side depression with a classic kill there. 30 HP and a phantom at hand. Five bullets left in the clip and falls. That was a very well played round from San Antonio. They are bringing it back. This could lead us to a map three here. All that they need is three more rounds here. What is Butler going to do to try to stop? Oh, and a timeout coming out from San Antonio, looking to really gather a play here and take these next three rounds. Three rounds is what you need. However, what will Butler do to counter that? It just seems like they're unstoppable at this point. It really does. Atlas has absolutely taken off this map. It is very impressive to see here, especially with the Sage. What, can, what more can he do for his team? Battle Sages are my favorite types of Sages, let me tell you that much. And Atlas is just... Atlas is making this the playground. It is the Sage playground nowadays. Forget Viper, I mean, Church is doing everything as well. However, Atlas is putting on the boots and giving Butler, quite frankly, the run for their money. Butler really has to regather themselves for these next couple of rounds, or it's... We're going to a map five, well, map three. Imagine if we were here for a map five, goodness oh. gracious! It looks like it is an A push coming out here from the side of San Antonio. Will we get to see the execute? That is... Oh, and the breach stun goes out towards the A side. However, Alice is looking for that lurk. Big Sad Depression looking to... Looking for the flanker, as it seems. G-Force is left all alone to fend for the site. However, Trepid Cash is there to back him up. And this is a hard A push here. Hard A push. Bomb will get down. Big Sad Depression with another classic kill. Oh my goodness. Toxins coming up. G-Force spotted there by Church, too. G-Force taken one, out. And two. Trepid Cash taken out. Since How many down. more? Hone. Oh, able to take out one, but it's one only traded. That is three. That is Church four. Church takes four. Oh my goodness. There are a lot of statements being sent out here. Two more rounds until we are forced into a map three. Can you believe it, Brady? I was... I'm, I can't believe it, but I can't. I really expected Butler to take, take it and run this map, but San Antonio has adapted perfectly to Butler's playstyle. And Butler seems to be taking it slow. Who knows, Butler could... Viper's Pit coming out from the side of Butler map. here. Lyric looking for a pick there, he spots him, but looks for the rotate. We've got the Viper lurking here. Church is lurking towards the side of B. And just simply staying put. If I were San Antonio right now, I would not want to push this Viper's pit. Is that an operator here? Hunter's so Fury close. coming so out from Trepid Cash, unable to find any intel. However, that is a rotate if I've ever seen any. Will we see anybody trying to go through mid here? But they already have a Viper on B here. Is he gonna? Does Hode does know? He pick the Sage. Oh. Oh knows. That's a huge pick for Butler Esports here. Ko coming out here from Lyric. 
Stopping the plant, preventing the plant. Lyric! Oh, Lyric catching two there. Are they able to get to the back 3v2 here. here for the um, numbers favoring Baller Esports. Bomb is still down, however, it is not ah, looking likely. Oh, unfortunately, right Big Shot's Depression is unable to get that res off. But that, but that rope being taken, it just... 10 seconds left. It just shows, it reveals that location. However, it looks like a save here. Atlas on the operator as well. And that is a Butler Esports round win. That is a round they desperately needed. It is definitely something to get back on track. But honed with the... Honed with the sneaky kill on the Viper. Absolutely crucial. You Atlas just... has the op. It's gonna be an interesting round here. You've just gotta expect to look where you wouldn't necessarily look in the first place. Too many corners, and you just gotta look for it. Oh, we got a little sightseeing here from Hone. Thank you, Hone, for showing us the cute little penguins on the screen there. We love Standing to ahead. see it. Looking like an A-push coming out from San Antonio once again. Scanning right two. The rotate is coming out relatively fast. However, Church still looking for that bed oh, lurk. Yeah, However, big side depression. Right also knowing that this could be a possibility for a mid lurk. Lyric off. getting picked off there. Or Lyric picking off some songs, sorry, but Lyric picking somebody off there. Mikey is down and out of the fight. Oh, oh the snowball goes out here. Ah. Oh, and two fall. Big Sad Depression able to Perfect pick one. Well. G-Force. And that is another round going towards the favor of Butler Esports. Butler they Esports. are not going to go down easy. They'll put up a fight, and that can be said for both sides. They've had some two expertly played rounds. Will this moment keep up with the Bulldogs, do you think? Butler Esports may be able to take a run, run here. They may be able to, be able to collect themselves here, but if San Antonio only needs two more rounds. And that is... Quite frankly, a lot more than the um, four more that Butler needs to secure the win. It's definitely not out of the realm of possibilities here for Butler Esports. Anything can happen in the world of Valorant. Plenty but Atlas fight. has the op. Atlas with the op looking and scanning to see if there's anybody. However, the Viper Wall does come up from the side of Butler Esports. And G Force comes back with an answer. Oh, looking for the flank here. Oh, but Nobody taken out by the by the razor. Viper ult does come out. Church is playing cheeky. I've seen this on quite a few TikToks if I've ever seen it, and playing on top of those boxes. Oh, my G Force taking three here. Does he get the fourth? Will we get to see a four piece? Trepid cash on the diffuse now. Molly's falling to Molly's. Church able to get three more, but G Force simply disagrees and gets the 4K to secure an 11 to 10. This game has been changed. This is a the very tides, high game now. The tides are shifting. San Antonio was making a run for it those on their other on their D side, but Butler Esports are really able to say no, you're not running away with this map. We're we're making it all the way. Putting up a fight and trying to secure the win. G4 is fanning himself here. Definitely deserves it after that performance from the last round. Heating up, needs to cool down, however, it looks like there's no signs of stopping here. The aggression is back. The shots are hitting. And Atlas does spot him there, having to retract. You However, have to respect Atlas here. It's looking like somewhat of a default. Spike being left towards the side of the attackers here and just trying to gauge information there. Church still in the same spot as we see him always. Just on that mid spot. However, 
Honeybee and oh my goodness and G Force Falls Atlas. You have to respect Atlas after his performance this map. It is absolutely crucial to San Antonio's performance. We see Honeybee jump peeking there. Church taking out big sad depression there. Atlas ah, looking for another pick here. here. Looking down like A. In the numbers game, in the numbers scheme of things, this is going towards San Antonio's favor. Ferdinand's very low though. Trevi Cash spots one. Spots underneath. one underneath of heaven here, and it's a five v two. Last player standing. Oh. And Hone falls. Braum able to take out three, and we are one match away. Match point. We are at match point from going to a map three here from both sides. Both sides have had a tremendous amount of showing here. Atlas stepping up to make the plays and G-Force responding in return. Big Side Depression getting a 4K of his own and Church not letting that slide. You really can't take these duels with Atlas here. You have to be very caref careful about taking these flanks and if Atlas is on that, on the defense, you better watch out. Yeah, good luck, have fun. Looking like a B-push here. Hone is left to fend for himself. The Sage Wall does come out. Belly Sports has to get this fast rotate in. Hone able to get Atlas with a judge. He yeah. makes the fight even here. The Jet looking to get something off their alt here, but slowly draining. Spots one. Will Church play off lineups here? Braum is lightly spotted there by G-Force, I believe. The feelings are mutual. The swing will come out. Lyric! Lyric taking out two here. Lineups may be played. Trepid Cash able to secure the kill on two reticence. And Butler Esports. Jackie, we may be looking at an overtime here. A dominant performance here. Coming out from both sides. The judge kill. Taking out Atlas at the very start of the fight there. Absolutely huge pick. Forced them after their plant. They really had to force off and Butler Esports able to get that defuse. And we are simply it's just one. The, no the magic number of today, it's one. One more map. Maybe one more until overtime. We'll see. G-Force looking for an opening pick here, but there's nobody at A, B. There looks Not like they're much trying noises. to force B with some mid action here. Church holding the spike in the per usual position there. Tone looking to hold down B, but can he do it? Trepid Cash looking at the drone. Not sure if a spotted church there. Atlas already expecting the flank coming out from G Force. However, it is looking like it is going to be an A push. And I think Butler knows that as well. Rotating towards the side of A. G Force is in a relatively decent spot. No noise being made. It's a rather fast rotate. To A, it takes out one. Able to trade out by Atlas again. Atlas, Atlas able to res though. That's going to be absolutely huge for San Antonio here. That can really shift this that around. That can really turn the tides here. looking to commit. Thirty seconds left. flash coming out. Honey be able to fall. Church takes one down. Take, takes two one down. One enemy remaining. Three. Here. That and is that is a map. map. That is map three. We are going to a map three here. Ladies Folks. and gentlemen, that absolutely stellar performance here from San Antonio. What can I say? Close games all around from both sides. Allison Church, 32 and 25, really taking this m map oh my away with them. Goodness. Atlas and Church just worked so well hand in hand with each other there throughout the whole entire match. So many plays being made.
the tide was being controlled by a sage and a viper. Forrest, Forrest really trying to take control there for Butler, along with a bit of sad depression, but it just wasn't enough against that Atlas domination, I would say. I would say so, too. So many clean kills coming off from Atlas. The sage, quite frankly, just place the tempo on it. Absolutely. I'm at a loss for words, honestly. I've never seen such, like, precise sage gameplay, honestly. The sage, without res, and he had some ex expert walls, but he was just able to dominate Butler Esports on Absolutely. that map. Absolutely. We are looking at... We're just, we're just looking at a lot of possibilities. This last map could take off in any way go. However, we are going to be going on a short break here, and we will catch you all here in just a little bit.
and welcome back everybody we are back here on the map three of the series of the nay star league valorant match against the butler bulldogs and the texas a and san antonio jaguars we are coming on on split here uh i'm gonna split map pool here um and it looks like we're seeing a, a whole lot of everything. A lock on the breach. Oh, brim brimstone, should I say. Big sad depression on the big boy brimstone. I'm very excited to see this. I think I'm very excited to see how Butler Esports plays. I have a strong feeling they are going to come out swinging. They know this map well. Very old map. I'm really excited. And we see the swap there from... The Sova to the Sage on the side of Trepid Cash. Hone also on the side of Killjoy there, and Lyric on, on the sky. G4's mm -hmm. on the Rays as well. We get a, we get to see a lot of swaps here out of the side of Butler Esports, and it's going to be really interesting to see how that double duelist comp fares out. Both teams with the Killjoy, very interesting. It's the Killjoy diff. RIP Chamber. Like, after those nerfs just came through for Chamber... Killjoy, Cypher, quite frankly, the whole entire Select Sentinel roster, with the, exception of, with the exception of Chamber, has gotten to see a lot of playtime here. We do get to see the Neon play, and Church back on the Astra. Sky as well coming out from San Antonio. Very interesting pick. Haven't seen any Sky. As on both well as sides, Neon. actually, too. So we've still got that double initiator comp going out for the side of San Antonio. However, Butler on the defending side here. Double Sentinel. Have not seen that at all tonight. Placing alarm bot. So we're looking at the Killjoy setup going towards the B side, which is a little bit Turn not up. even unlikely. It's just I see a Placing lot of Killjoys, at least in my rank, and set up on the A side. And that might be what they're expecting. It might just be what they run into, honestly. But it looks like San Antonio is going to do a hard mid-B push here to start off the new map. Having that heavenly control is cru crucial, absolutely crucial in terms of the B site here. And the Neon's going out fast. No stopping in sight. Taking I'm it very looking, slow here. Looking for that flash. Playing this rather slow, as you said. It honestly seems that the turret's been pinged. It might just be a sort of sign of, yeah. hey, the Killjoy's here. Not a bad idea to just play it out. Looks like Belder Esports still maintaining control of A in case of a rotate, but it looks like they are hard pushing B here. The Execute has come out, however, that is a lot of damage done by Hone there by the Killjoy setup on B. Hone able to get two. G Force able to get the One Killjoy enemy on the remaining. enemy side. Two and Spike two here. Down B. All you've got is Church running up P main here. Spike is past the Brimmy smoke, and I just know I just know for a fact that Big Side Depression is having a field day on the Brimstone here. I did a little bit of a pregame interview with him, and he just, he loves Brimstone. He's a Brimstone lover. But we do get to see the church rotate all the way around. You listen to any Daft Punk, because we are going around the world, quite frankly. I would have to say... Big oh. sad depression and the frenzy coming out. Strong start for Butler Esports here, and... I can honestly tell you that they were not expecting the Killjoy setup to be on the B site. But I would say Butler Esports wanted it that way. A lot tell of references. Tell, tell me why. why. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Butler Esports played that very well. Very defense-oriented by Butler. It looks like San Antonio looking for the same play here. Maybe a bit a B mid push, or maybe just a they might just be full Russian mid here. And the Sage Fog goes out on the side of Trepid Cash. However, a wall is broken. I would be a little afraid. Oh. 10 HP in a dream. A Bulldog a coming bulldog out from G-Force. G-Force there with a good pick. 
You've got everybody here in this mid area. It's contested. Trippy Cash looking for a pick here. Takes down two. Oh, the double sentinel combo there. Coming out from Trepid Cash and Hone. Two picks each for the two of them. That was a great round for Beller Esports here. Able to get that flawless round. No econ loss. Absolutely perfect. The only things that seemed to be lost was just San Antonio. San Antonio's sanity for one. <laughs> and the A push finally comes out strong here. The Killjoy's still staying on that B setup with both Sentinels just holding that B site in mid. Lyric's got a Guardian. Looking for the flash. Lyric has a Guardian and a Dream rotating out of there. The smoke comes out from Big Sad Depression on the Brimstone. I'm looking to pick off somebody here. Honeybee right gets the pick oh, off yeah. onto the Brimstone. I want to see some Guardian action here. Oh, oh and Braum takes out Lyric there. Braum with 5v3 the situation Spike here planted. in favor of San Antonio. However, G-Force takes it out. Hone taking out one. A Vandal in hand. Last player standing. Hone, the last player standing for Go Butler. Play. Two left. One enemy remaining. One left. Oh. And it comes to short as Atlas is able to put a stop to just to Hohen's wrath. However, S San Antonio was able to adapt very well there. Definitely agree here. But honestly, a strong start here for Butler. I wonder how they're going to react to just a little hiccup in the grand scheme of things here. Looks like a bit of a split push here from San Antonio. Maybe a little looking, bit of a default. Looking to maybe get some people to rotate A and then maybe to psych them out here. I'm not sure. Maybe just an intel type of ordeal here. Just seeking out the intel is very, very important. We see G Force yeah. looking up to maybe get a pick off of some unknowing, unknowing individual here in general. You got three on the side here for the B push. Church with the judge. Trepid cash. Oh, and the jump, Grenade. the jump peak spots it. Big sad depression able to get two here. Spike down but mid. It's met with a judge. That rotate gets the flash out. G-Force playing 4th of July simulator with the fireworks and flashes that are coming his way. However, Church is at 55 HP. 2v3 here. Cam Baller Esports turn it around. Both Sentinels, Trepid Cash getting the pick there of Church. A good slow orb here. Butler is in a great position. A great position here. The flash may oh, come out. Oh. The swing. Oh, and honed! Oh, a draw the shot there on ropes. Honed has been taking this game us? pretty well. So many questions. Very comfortable kill to pick, it seems like. Honed has definitely been able to shine this time around. However, that is not too looking good on San Antonio's end, as it's looking like more of an eco round for the side of the Jack Forest. The Bulldogs are in a good spot, a Killjoy ult online for them. And Trepid Cash still with that end control. Astro Star, however, on B Heaven, and it looks like a fast push. Oh, the shorty? Trepid Cash did not take that lightly. He said, you're gonna push with shorty. No, not today. San Antonio, not today. Denied. Got the Prime Classic from Honeybee. Quite a clean, clean skin set, if I do so say, must, or say so myself. It looks like San Antonio is looking to leave here and maybe go through B main. Oh, Atlas with the Marshall in hand. That is a dangerous sight if you are the side of Butler Esports there. We have seen Atlas absolutely perform and do absolutely phenomenal things with the Atlas, or well, with the Marshall here. So I'd be careful if I was Butler Esports. A fake rotate into B main only to go push mid again. Trepid Cash 
Trepid Cash is able to get three. Spike down. Trepid Cash with four. Stunning performance there by Bubber Esports. Flawless round. Flawless round, especially. Trepid Cash able to get four from just playing it safe, playing behind good cover, and just waiting it out until they came to him, and they did. Yeah, Butler Esports, they waited, they played their time, and they looked for that mid push and absolutely shut it down. 4-1 lead, Butler in the lead at the moment. San Antonio looking to go A here. However, it is an A that is stacked what quite frankly. Astrowall does come out. Looking to get some, pig, some damage out there with a raise. The Neon is making quite some space. Lyric is able to pick that off real fast. Perfect play by Lyric. Oh, but he falls. However, he falls. Trepid Cash not get quite to that res, and he falls as well. Church is very, very low. Spike planted. On the site. Big Stand Depression able to get one there. However, G-Force falls, and it is, we are left in a retake situation of a, of a 2v3. Oh, a church. Church falls. One enemy remains. The Brimstonals. And it's just a perfect, perfect retake from Buller Esports, in my opinion. They were down in numbers, however, that didn't matter. It doesn't matter. The retake, the timing, it was all perfect, and it's it's what you would look at as a picture-perfect retake, in my opinion. Owen has been performing phenomenally this time on this map. It is the Killjoy seems to be fitting very well with his playstyle and has just been able to really capitalize so far on this map. They just don't know what to do. And with this other esports having this 5-1 star, that's going to my help them phenomenally throughout the rest of the map. 5-1 strong start here for the Bulldogs, and it's looking like a 5-man push B with the Killjoy ult. Looks like Honed expects it. He's playing this rather slow. And the flash goes out. The mollies are popped. The Killjoy box. The Neon ult. The Neon ult is out. How will they fare against it? And they stop that real fast. However, Atlas is able to get one. Trepid Cash is able to follow through. Braum, lots of trades going on here. Braum getting two. G Force getting one. And it is a 2v2 situation. The spike has not been planted. It's... Oh! Church caught at the wrong place at the wrong time. 2v1 situation here. Trying to scout out where the sky is and. It is, it is over. Braum trying to bait out the plant there. Braum looking to get a pin here, but he's flashed. He's Other flashed. He's looking to capitalize. And the ult goes out. 30, 30 seconds left. left. And Lyric's able to capitalize on that. If I were San Antonio here, I'd be looking for a timeout sooner than later. I'd be looking for just anything if I were San Antonio at the moment. Butler Esports is taking this map and running away with it. Absolutely performing perfectly these last couple rounds. All of the executions are working out all in their favor and it looks like on the side of San Antonio we are looking to see a default come out here. A little bit of intel gathering, seeing where everybody's placed at. Because if I were San Antonio personally, I would not want to meet Hone's Wrath right now. Absolutely not. Trepid Cash looking for somebody to push this wall there. Oh. G Force able to take Church out. Just like a blink of an eye there. However, there are no split pushes. A jump peek coming from Trepid Cash, probably alerting the whole team. Hey, they're here. All of them are here. The wall is going to get broken here on the side. Also looks like the sky looking for a flank here. Maybe going through the Lyric. stores. Lyric's a little bit on a hunt here. And may, might be able to catch one oh, off guard. Oh, but they're looking for the rotate here around to B. Is the sky going to be too late? 
Lyric playing the patient game. Trepid Cash still knowing that there's at least one here. However, it is Atlas with Marshall. But that's not enough if you're Trepid Cash. There is no Marshall in the dream here. It is simply a 5v3. Butler is 30 seconds hurting left. on it. And like, just completely a great performance. Absolutely astounding coming from the side of the Bulldogs. However, Bone is alone on the site. It doesn't matter. He takes three. Hone taking out three there with the smallest amount of HP I've ever seen. And that is a timeout coming out from I'm not Texas even sure A&M. How many Hone. kills? Hone. Three P's and a spray transfer? Are you joking? Hone is not joking around. This he has come man. to play. Split is no joke. He has come to play. He's dialed in. The phone is ringing Brady, and he has picked up, he dialed picked it up. in. I'm not even sure how many kills Hone has, but it has to be absolutely outperforming the rest of his team here because he is... He's running away with it. He's running away with it, but at the same time, Intrepid Cash, the little info gathering. 14, and we're not even at the half yet. Y you know what I'm going to say that Honed is doing? Honed is cooking. Honed is cooking. Who let him cook? The Bulldogs let him cook. He is at the top of the leaderboard, sitting pretty. One ult on the side of the Butler Bulldogs, and we're about to go back here. The only ult uh, coming out from the side of... San Antonio, is that breach ult? Butler Esports Economy also looking absolutely spectacular here. Absolutely. However, we also almost have the sky ult on the side of San Antonio, and that could be crucial. We don't know if Butler's reign of dominance here is going to stop anytime soon. However, five-man push into B, no stopping here. Seven to one. Aftershock coming out from the breach. Off your feet. And the breach ult is here. Bomb grenade out. Honeybee already down to half health. However, takes Trepid Cash down. The sky healing is there to support it. 5v4 situation. Oh, oh and gets Honeybee. Catches off guard. G Force looking to take off a pick here to Renaissance. Out the oh, Atlas! Hone! Again, three-piece! And four! He is on a roll! Who? Ladies and gentlemen, right. who let him cook? This man's cooking. Ladies who man. let him cook? 18 and two. Absolutely spectacular. 18 and two. A unit in hand here for the Bulldogs. Nobody has had a better performance here tonight than... Oh, no, this map is absolutely on spectacular. This map. An absolute beast. Yes, the most kills, least deaths. I, I, you couldn't ask for more. From probably him. just he's just having he's doing the most here and just probably having the most fun too. Honestly, if Hone keeps up this momentum, San Antonio is going to have a very hard time Lady stopping him. Might not be the best of looks here for San Antonio if that yeah. seems to happen. However, eight and one. Get the flash out. Looks the like a push, push is going, and we have the kill joint on the Lurk for the B. Lyric looking for a pick here. Lyric getting picked off by Renaissance here. 4v5 situation, however, Trepid Cash does has a res. However, it does not look like a position that is good for a res to occur on site. In the retake coming out here. Kill joy on the, well. the kill joy ult is out. And this is going to force them to back out. Trepid Cash getting Atlas caught off guard. Trepid Cash was another one. G Force getting picked off. Big sad depression there. One enemy oh. remaining. Trepid Cash picking three. Hound looking for the defuse. Absolutely. Oh. oh. Reticence with a three piece this round. Oh. Four, four piece from Reticence there. San Antonio looked at Butler. They said. It's time for you to take it down a notch, and time to reel it in. But but I don't know how this is going to change the momentum of the game. You're absolutely this might right. This might be this might be the ticking point here. Nine you're three curse right. maybe eight two. It is eight two, and it's 
I mean, San Antonio is going to have to make a run for its money if it wants to come anywhere near Butler Esports' eight points on this map. Absolutely. Looking for another A push here. I feel like that's San Antonio's strongest side here. They just can't stop Honed on B. The Astro World does come out from the side of San Antonio, and the Neon is taking that space. However, Lyric caught out again with a Spectre. G-Force able to trade out the Astra, though. 4v4, and I believe the Neon was spotted by G-Force there. Atlas may go down here. Playing it very slow on the side of Butler and just playing that post plant if you're Oh, and there goes the killjoy. G-Force looking for the raise ult here. Reticence. Even numbers here One now. G-Force with four. Do we get to see an ace? Give me an ace, ladies and gentlemen. Give me an ace. Pros don't fake. Oh. oh! And big sad depression able to clutch this out? And he does. Oh my goodness. We've been so close to so many aces here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Last round. Last round. This could be the 9-3 curse that San Antonio may be looking for. However, Butler's been on a roll. Butler's absolutely been on a roll. That was a great recovery by Big Sad Depression for the clutch out. G4 is getting the massive grenade. kills there and really saving this the round for Butler Esports, I would this say. Absolutely. Grenade. Four picks in a dream. We just see a lot of 4Ks here. There's just a bunch going on and... Only fours, no fives, unfortunately. <laughs> Hopefully they can change soon enough. We'd love to see it. It looks like a split B push here, um, with the Killjoy and the Astra coming out mid on the side of San Antonio, and three coming through B main. However, you if you have to be San Antonio, you have to expect that Killjoy setup to be there. And they do. The Aftershock oh, comes bitch. through. The ult comes through. G4 is like still holding that mid. However, they are all over B side at the moment. Hone is left afraid. I would be yes. too if I was in a spot. I've got Absolutely your a very hard B push here. Ray is still looking to control that mid, but Hone is looking to get some things here. The Brimstone ult is going out. Oh. Hone. Hone, can Hone falls. Up. However, the trade does return. Lyric does get that off. San Antonio gets oh, yeah. gets the ult off. However, was that, a, was that an LMG that I saw? Oh my goodness! Atlas and Aries and a dream. Welcome to the series, ladies and gentlemen. I ship it. Lyric, G Force. The res comes back from Hone. However, Hone falls oh. shortly. G Force, oh. the satchel and the skill. No ten, no nine three curse here. Ten two to finish off the half for Butler Esports there. Oh Tactically done. What a dominant run there, coming from the side of the Bulldogs. Switching that side. was an absolutely great half by the Butler Bulldogs. They they could not be stopped. If Hone keeps up this momentum, G-Force is also there. creating some trouble for San Antonio here. Absolutely. G-Force on that duelist roll, no matter if it's Jet, no matter if it's Raze, put him on anything, he'll be able to frag out. He's able to make that space and send that message. Absolutely. And it looks like Butler Esports here looking for a mid B push. Maybe an A. Brimstone at A with the bomb here. Not sure what Butler Esports is looking there. to do here. Maybe a bit of a default coming out from the side of the Bulldogs. And the Jaguars are pretty Let's evenly spread out with a little bit of an emphasis towards that B sided defense. I'm curious to see how this will play out. We've got the Killjoy turret watching B main for any pushes, however. Going slow and steady here, waiting it out. A little bit of a, little bit of a jiggle pee coming out from Intrepid Cash and Lyric here. San Antonio playing rather conservative here, not pushing anywhere that they don't need to. Reticence looking for some plays with the breach. Still expecting for somebody to pop out of that B main. The wall goes up. G-Force able to get one, however, Atlas. Church and Atlas are able to send a message back. Honeybee as well, taking off the Brimstone. 
One enemy remaining. And the kill joint, and it is Lyric planting alone. What space was made? Goodness gracious. Lyric able to get the plant off, however, he has to play safely here. He's able to pick Oh, one. and a headshot coming in. Yeah. However, blinded. Oh no, he was on oh, with this cop. knife out. That's a place you never want to be in, is caught out with your knife out. You always want to be looking for that. and Especially in the position that he was in, he has to be ready at all costs. Wrong place, wrong time, and it's just quite unfortunate. First round won by San Antonio in quite some time now, and maybe this might be the turning point, 10-3. Coming into the second round of the second half, coming into a Butler lead. It is very interesting to see how this will play out, and seeing on the side of uh, San Antonio, the Killjoy playing A is usually where I would expect things to go. Looks like we got a raise looking for A. A little bit of a lurk going yeah, on. Yeah, most of Butler looking for that mid push here once again. They've got to meet an Astra. However, that Astra is Church. And oh. it's a Judge. Oh, and this is... Hone falls. Intrepid Cash falls shortly. You never want to take that close quarters fight with the Judge. It is just a recipe for disaster. Honeybee with a Spectre going down to half HP here. However, Braum taking out G-Force on the Lurk. Church looking for another Lurk here with the Judge. He's chasing after Lyric here. Lyric falling in the last member. Big Sad Depression with a little bit of a kill there. However, it is a four-piece coming off from Church there with a Judge. Butler coming out rather slow here on the attack. They just need three, round, three rounds to win here. So if I was Butler, I, you can take your time, gather yourself, as long as you just get these three rounds. And they win this series, ladies and gentlemen. And it's three rounds that could make all the difference. However, San Antonio, taking it back to the man. It's, it's not just gonna be an easy fight. That attack might have been easy, but their attack may not be. Coming out with a mid push here. Smoke's going out. Brimstone with the combat oh, yeah. The wall? The wall coming out for the mid to ropes. Church looking for the here. Stun. Oh, trepid cash! Even with the stun. Stun? But that doesn't matter. And then we reticence falling. Healing. Two for trepid cash there. Big sad depression. Off and planting, hone, oh, getting another one. Trepid Cash sitting at half HP here, however, they are in a good place for post plans. One enemy remaining. Oh. And Trepid Cash getting through that round, the Butler Bulldogs. Oh my goodness, Trepid Cash even nodding his head yes there. Expecting the pretty new blue knife. A flawless round by Butler, that is absolutely huge. Further econ for the rest of the side, but just momentum. If Butler can really gather themselves they just need two rounds two more rounds until the series comes to a close and butler esports can taste taste victory onto their tongues it's that close i'm very curious to see how much plays out here looks like another mid mid push stem coming up from brim here Looking the neon them. however is sitting pretty in ropes you have to care for those bent ropes there And G-Force gets the kill off of the Astra. Neon is in there. Trepid Cash. Already expecting that lurk. However, the timing may be off here. Hone able to One pick off. Remaining. What a strong, strong push there. Atlas oh. able to pick off one here. Trepid Cash planting now. Big Sad Depression is looking. G-Force seeking. G-Force pushing. G-Force finishing it off. And we have reached... Match, match point. point! Match point! This, this is where, a, this, oh what all, this is what matters. This is what matters indeed. This is... Honestly... Even though Butler Esports did win that first map, this is a different team from both two maps that we've seen, in my opinion. Absolutely. You have stellar gameplay from all the players. Yeah. Hone coming out with an insanely strong yeah. start on defense really helped pull this team together.
We see um, Alice coming up with the setups here, but will that be enough to put a stop to Butler oh, Esports here? Trying. We see Church with a judge once more. G Force stepping in a little bit of the mollies there. Yeah. With the ping coming out, signaling where they are. And oh. just walks into a judge too. You never want to Two fellas walk into mm. a judge. It never turns out well. The sage wall being broken. The church judge is Atlas. deadly. Atlas getting a pick off. You already know that they'll be coming from ropes. Honed! Honed coming out. Last oh, dead. the stinger. The killjoy on the, the roam. The killjoy. But unable to stop that defuse. And a one tap to the dome from Atlas. One more point off, and we've got ults coming from both sides here. We've got the, the Killjoy ult coming out from um, Atlas. Butler. And I believe as well as um, Hone as well. Yeah, if Butler plays this slow, they can lose one and still use that res and really rally for this little steal match point. One last hurrah. San Antonio still rather split, more B-sided, but it will probably work out for them as Butler's looking for another hard mid-push here. Absolutely, Brady. And the Astro Star comes out through the mid. We have a very heavily B-guarded. Church is push pushing out here. I'm looking to get some sort of insight. Yeah. G-Force popping their abilities, looking for some damage done on these guys that have Quite a bit of Utah coming out on the side of you should both, honestly. Killjoy all. Kevin Cash, the big off. Oh, oh and down they standing. fall. It is just off to hound. And Butler gets fairly demolished right there within seconds of each other. Seeking honed out, like, oh. Honed looks to be saving this round. Interestingly enough, we get to see a little bit of the spinny melee action. Some skin design here. The Oni Phantom is carefully crafted. I love the Oni Phantom. I take the Genji Oni skin over that any day of the week. Oh my goodness, Overwatch players. However, this does look like to be a hard save. 30 seconds 30 left on the clock. Left. Absolutely. He's just gonna wait. He's just gonna wait it out. It's definitely... He would lose a lot more if he would try to go in. I think it's best for Butler to keep playing this slow. They just need one round. One more round is all you need. 11 seconds left on the clock. 10 seconds and left. And they're just... They're just sitting there waiting for him to come out. I don't even want to know how much that gun skin costs. Um, I believe 21.75 in oh, terms of credits. Goodness. Don't ask me how I know about that. However, it... May or may not be in my inventory fully upgraded. I, I don't want to talk about it. I will take a ten dollar <laughs> battle pass with Overwatch skins any day of the week compared to spending my absolute life savings. Oh. Skins <laughs> equals wins. That's about it. Then again, all I, you can ask for. Pretty pretty skins equals very pretty wins. Green on the leaderboard. Yeah, I spent a hefty amount of money in Fortnite back in the day, so I probably can't talk much. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Looking like a strong A push here coming from the side of Butler. Killjoy ult was used last. Definitely a better swap up for Butler here. I think they're going to perform well on the A push. Takes G Force one. taking Church out. Running and gunning. Traffic Cash takes out two. However, as Red is answers. Answers to nobody but himself. Reticent. Very low. Oh my one. goodness, and it is a 3v1 situation. Big side of pressure with a spike. However, they're moving towards that B site. This may be our last round in this the series. This may be the last round. It is just Atlas, but don't count Atlas out. You can... Atlas has been a very strong player for this team for all three maps here, so you really cannot count him out. Absolutely. The lockdown all is up and running. It may be the only chance to get to use it. However... Post plan is set up. The Killjoy is still alive on the side of the Bulldogs, and it's on the side of the Jags. It's just, it's just Atlas. However, that might be enough. 
Alice, oh. The retake ult is here. However, G-Force does not care. It's planted. Looking for the flank. The Killjoy Molly is oh. up on bomb, and, and G-Force gets the final kill. That is... That is the game. That is the game. Ladies and gentlemen, Butler Esports has now taken their first win of the Nace Star League season. A 2-1 finish against the Texas A&M San Antonio Jaguars. 2-1, an exciting series, and a map three. Absolutely exciting series. Hone really, I would say, propelled that team forward in that, that first wave of that series, or of that map, really. And oh, that was an absolutely extraordinary series of events for Butler on that last map. On that last map. Absolutely. And from one Killjoy main to another, it was very nice to see Hone on that Killjoy utilizing the setups, utilizing everything in his kit to make sure that they secured the round win. And it kept working. That defense on the side of Butler was quite a strong one with the double sentinel. Absolutely. I couldn't have said it better myself. G Force also performing very well all three maps. Very consistent for the team there. Butler Esports really, after those. After that second map, they said, okay, it's time. We let them cook a little bit. It's time to stop. And they sent a very powerful message on that third map. Absolutely. I. It was like watching a different team, completely different team, just rejuvenated, freshly, freshly put it into the gates. And they took it, and they ran with it. And it ended up in a series win. Absolutely. Butler really, really needed that win for, I mean, first win. You can't. You could not have asked for a better first win than that, than those maps. Absolutely, a hard-fought victory on the side of the Bulldogs here, and a good game all around from both sides. We've got to see a lot. We've gotten to see a lot of Absolutely. showing promise from both teams, and it may not be the last time we see them again. I'm looking forward to the next time they face off. I really am. I think San Antonio played a, a very good series of maps, but Butler ultimately came out on top. Absolutely, and that concludes this night's stream. I hope everybody had a great night watching some riveting Valorant gameplay, and we will catch you all during the next stream. And good night, everybody. Thank you so much. Have a good night, everybody.